Greetings, true believers. Gerald Powell, Spider-Man. How you doing, Cadre? How we doing, Spice Lords, Spice lovers out there everywhere? Uh, I'm KJ, Spider-Man. This is my lovely assistant, Amber. Hello. And today we're going to do another uh, box opening uh, challenge review. Not really a challenge, but uh, just a review. Taste test. Checking out the new sauces uh, from Hot Ones and Heat Mist. Uh, this is the July subscription box from Hot Ones. Uh, don't know what's in here. From my understanding, um, these are, again, uh, sauces from makers that they've had on the show, but are new sauces. So not part of the season nine lineup, um, but new sauces altogether. So we will see. Ooh. Uh, so again, we got the card. It's gonna tell us a little bit about the sauces. Uh, so I might need to refer to that. Um, depending on what we find out here. Again, heat in a sticker, as always. And the artist uh, sticker says the Clean Wing Club, hot ones. Awesome, because I always clean my wings. You clean your wings? Of course. You know, you watch the show, people don't clean the wings. What's up with that? All right, so definitely have never Yay. seen these before. Um, Ooh. I know that brand. Um, okay, so we are gonna go in the order that they're listed on here because this is generally the um, order from mildest to hottest. Uh, so the first one is called Pirate's Lantern uh, Bahan Barbecue. Says everyone's favorite mustard-based hot sauce just got a grilling makeover with a dollop of sweet molasses. Uh, that added sugar with caramelized on the heat on the grill, making the sauce ideal for glazing beef, brisket, or marinating tender pork loin. Zippy horseradish rounds off the flavors and keeps the taste buds guessing while the mild heat from the Scotch bonnets will beg you to pour on a little more. So Scotch bonnets are um, like a habanero. Oh, they're kind of mild. Yeah. Uh, so let's see, full ingredients list is mustard first, which is distilled water, uh, vinegar, or distilled vinegar, water, mustard seed, mustard brand, salt, turmeric, spices. Uh, so after the mustard, we've got vinegar, water, sugar, tomato paste, onions, molasses, salt, spices, and hot peppers. That one has to be refrigerated after opening. Yep, a lot of them do, oh. but I don't anyways. Noted. Oh well. <laughs> um, so no indication uh, on the label or anything as to exactly how hot it is. We don't have Scoville ratings for these yet. Um, so we'll see. That's that one. I like that one. It smells pretty good. It doesn't really, it has a somewhat mustardy scent, but not an That's... overbearing mustardy scent. I smell more spices. It's very mild though. It smells, yeah, it smells mild. Like it's not pungent at all. It's very low key. It is somewhat thick. Ready? Hmm. That one's pretty mild. Just a little slight tingle on the tongue. I wouldn't even call that a burn. No, but nice smoky taste. Yeah, it, like there's, like I said, the from the smell, even the taste, the, the mustard really isn't super um, prevalent. It's there, but it's not like an overbearing mustard. It's just there kind of in the background. And really it's almost the, like a honey mustard. Uh, well, it's got the molasses gotcha. and it's got some sugar. So that's giving it some sweetness. I think the turmeric, um, mm -hmm. which is one of the more uh, prevalent spices in there. Well, no, that's part of the mustard. So that's not soup, that's just part of that, I'm sorry, that. Yeah. They've got the mustard broken out into the ingredients of the mustard that is in the mustard. So the turmeric is part of the mustard. And then it's vinegar, water, tomato paste, onions, molasses, spices, hot peppers. So, um, I don't know, this one's just, it's really good. This would be good on wings. Like it said, this would be good marinating something, putting on the grill. Um, that's just a really good sauce. I mean, I would dip chips in that sauce. That's like yeah. just really tasty um, and not super hot, but that's that's a really good one. So that's um, Pirate's Lantern uh, is the brand and Hot 
Bahan barbecue. Pretty good. Uh, so next up is Clark and Hobson's uh, Quintana Roo. With Quintana Roo, our friends at Clark and Hobson's set out to bottle the warmth of the summer sun on the Caribbean coast. This hot sauce combines bright tart grapefruit with earthy turmeric and fruity habaneros for a creation that begs to be slathered on fish, grilled chicken, or dressed on a citrusy summer salad. Um, and so this would be a good time to bring up, um, we did the last video for the June sauces and uh, we had just come from eating hot wings at Buffalo Wild Wings before we did our taste test. And we both thought that these sauces were hotter than we felt they should have been. Um, and in fact, I went back afterwards, retasted all the sauces and they weren't as hot. So definitely, definitely going back and eating the hot wings before we tried these sauces had an effect on our taste buds. Mm, don't do that, um, bad idea. Cause we, we didn't do the blazing wings, but we had the hot and the wild. So we had some fairly hot, hot wings and it had been an hour or two before that. So yeah. obviously the heat's all gone. We're not feeling any effects, but obviously some of that capsaicin is just dormant on your tongue. And when you get some more capsaicin, it just reignites it. Um, and that, that's what we were experiencing last time. So, uh, you know, if you watched last week or last month's video, um, you know, we kind of talked about how hot some of those seems, even like the really mild one. We're like, man, this is much hotter than it, it should be. I think it was like a 2500 Scoville or something. Like, it seems hotter than that. Um, and then when we got to the hottest one, we thought that it felt hotter than one that we'd had before, which was definitely hotter than that one. Yeah. But for some reason, that one tastes out of hotter. So it, it's just that uh, after effects from the, the hot wings that we had had and the capsaicin before. So just wanted to throw this out there since we talked about it before. We said maybe that's what was happening. I can confirm that's what was happening because I went back and I tasted the sauces and um, it definitely affected it. Um, all right, so this in is Quintana Roo from Clark and Hopkins, um, and it is apple cider vinegar, orange juice, lemon juice, lime juice, Whoa. carrot juice, grapefruit juice, so very citrusy, onion, habaneros, garlic, salt, turmeric, spices. Um, this one is showing a heat level three out of five. It's vegan and gluten-free. Yay! I don't know that I smell citrus. It smells like I citrus. smell, I, I, it smells bright, but I don't know exactly what I'm smelling. I'm not smelling anything overly spicy, like the turmeric isn't like well, jumping no, out at me. Well, not one citrus is overpowering the other one, at least on the smell. I'm just gonna get on my nose, get that off. I don't know, I, it's, it's all really just uh, kind of mixed in. Um, I'm, nothing is, from smell wise, nothing is really standing And this out. one's a lot more liquidy. It is. Ooh. That one's a little spicy. Definitely hotter. <coughs> Ooh. Again, with all that citrus at the beginning, I'm not no, really... I thought I would just taste like lemon juice. Or yeah. Not at all. It's very nice. Maybe some of the onion. I'm get, kind of getting some oniony and spicy kind of flavors that is kind of mm -hmm. going on top of the, um, the habanero flavor. Because it's not like overly spicy. It's not super I kind of get grapefruit now at the end. Well, and that's what this one said was the grapefruit was what was going to come out, which surprised me because in the ingredients list, grapefruit is towards the end of all the citrus, but grapefruit is kind of pungent, so. Mm, I like that one. And it doesn't last long. The heat. Mm -mm. No, For it's, a minute and it's gone. It's pretty well died down. Um, mm. I'm not digging the aftertaste. I don't mind it. For some reason, the. Uh, Grapefruit's too much? I don't know. 
Just something about the aftertaste isn't resting on my tongue well. But no, that one would be, I'm trying to think, that one would be all right on wings, um, but that one would be a, a good uh, marinade, maybe on like, I don't want to say fish, but maybe like shrimp. I don't know, that's what I was thinking, something light though. Are you even on vegetables? Like putting on zucchini on the grill? That might be really nice. That could be good. I'm, I'm thinking this would be really good on grilled shrimp. Yeah, that would be. Okay. I've seen this one. I've seen the style before. <gasps> it's my favorite one. It's that one. Okay, go ahead. So this one is made by Torchbearer, and we've seen a couple of sauces made by Torchbearer before. This one is called Habanero Evil. It says, we love simple, perfectly executed sauces here at Heat HQ. This one delivers on all fronts, elevating habanero to the fore. And in savory notes from black pepper, garlic, and onion, you will have a medium heat sauce that will go with just about everything. I've personally been grilling through about a bottle per week with this treasure. Use it as a finishing sauce on anything coming off the grill or try it as a rub on a nice piece of red meat before cooking. Also good on pizza. Pizza, pizza. All right, so torch barrel, torch bearer sauces, habanero evil. Um, like I said, you've, we've tried one of the torch bearer sauces already and you really like that one. Yep. Um, ingredients, habanero peppers. So this one's starting off with pepper, unlike the other ones. Uh, garlic, distilled vinegar, water, onion, salt, black pepper, garlic powder. And no indication on Scoville level on this one. <clears throat> okay, getting ready. It's gonna be bad. Ramping yourself up? Trying to. It smells very garlicky. Mmm, smells delicious. I'm scared. <laughs> it's only habaneros though. It's only habaneros. <laughs> That one's sweet. That one's not really that hot. Zero heat for me. I was trying to figure out what I was tasting. Sweet though, right? I think it's garlic. I think it's raw garlic. What I was tasting was raw garlic and not cooked garlic. No, it's nice though. Like the heat's building now, but. So this one, the one that we tried before was habanero, and this one is habanero. So maybe this one isn't much hotter than that one because it's using the same peppers, and that's why you're not tasting any heat is because we're kind of at the same or at least similar level as the, as the previous one. I think this one might be a little bit hotter. It is building a little bit. You went back in for more, huh? It's good. I like that good one. Stuff. You're still sweating. <laughs> but good enough you went back for more that one's good i like that one a lot this one aside from having a really strong garlic taste it almost and i can taste ground pepper almost first too like this totally has to me mm. this the taste that's coming out for me is garlic and like fresh chopped fresh pressed garlic not garlic that's maybe been, that's what it is that bite though. it's not garlic that's been in a saucepan simmering that's that's cooked down and you just have the garlic flavor like this is really crisp mm -hmm. fresh garlic taste and if it wasn't for that super pungent um garlic taste to me it would taste like salsa Maybe. Like not just a hot sauce. This the the rest of that base just kind of to me tastes like yeah, it's good. a salsa. Oh, I like that one. A um, that one's very tasty. So yeah, all three of these were were tasty, pretty tasty. good tasty sauces. Um, mm. Which one did you like best? This one definitely. Yeah, I think I I might be impartial to them because I use their other sauce all the time, but I really like that one. It, to me, it's just, it's it's a little too garlicky. I love garlic. I don't like fresh garlic. Yeah. Like, I like roasted garlic. I like garlic that's been, like, pan-fried and 
in uh, you know you fry it up before you add stuff to it yeah. so it gets cooked and that really has a raw garlic kind of taste other than that though it's pretty good um i don't know i don't know which one i like best i think i i, I kind of like this one even though it was pretty mild i like the flavor of this one pretty pretty good that one i think it would be a good dip though yeah definitely definitely all right so we got our sauces out of the way we got our pirate's lantern We've got, uh, what one is that one? The uh, Clark and Hopkins and the Torchbearer sauces. Um, so that was the July um, subscription box from Hot Ones and Heatonist. Um, I think overall, like flavor-wise, this might have been one of the best boxes we've had. As Definitely. Far as, as far as all three sauces being like really tasty. That you actually, like, yeah. Sometimes you get one, you're like, eh, that one's really good. This one's eh, iffy. This one, like, all heat, no, like, right. no flavor. Like, this one, all three of them were delicious, delicious. sauces. Really good. Um, so that was it. That was the uh, the subscription box for July. Um, we actually got this one out relatively on time. We've only had it for a few days. Um, <laughs> so we got to this one quick. Yay. Uh, and so it'll be a while before we do another one. However, we do have, uh, for a future video, the Toe of Satan, which is a uh, sucker. That uh, it, it's, it's a challenge. You have to keep the sucker in your mouth for five minutes, and I believe it's, oh, what was it? 900,000. Is that what it was? 900,000 yep. Scovilles. So pretty hot. Yay! Um, and it's also got uh, cinnamon flavor in it, which I'm not a big fan of cinnamon. I hate cinnamon. Like yeah. hot tamale, like, yeah, hot tamale candies. I yeah. hate them. But it just has that flavor, and then it has the, the pepper stuff in it to make it even hotter. That makes it worse. Yeah. Yay, let's eat candy we don't even uh, like and make it hotter. So, uh, that is something that we have on deck for a future video. I'm not sure when we'll get to that, but uh, it will happen sometime. And then, of course, uh, we still want to do our wing challenge uh, for season eight, which we never did a season eight. And then we're still waiting on the last box of season nine sauces, and then we can do a wing challenge for season nine. Um, so those are some videos that we have planned in the future. Again, if you have any comments for us, we'd love to hear them. Uh, if you have any suggestions for us, things that you'd like to see us do, uh, like the Toe of Satan or anything else like that, uh, let us know. And... Uh, Always happy to hear from you, and uh, anything you want to say? No. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. See you on the forums, guys.